I'm Steve Hartman for First Look. Tonight's Assignment America is one of the most amazing stories that I've ever had the chance to tell. There's been a couple times in my 20-year career where I've done a story about something that has eventually been made into a movie. And I am almost certain that this is going to be one of those stories that somebody's going to make into a movie because it is just that unbelievable. It's a story about this fellow here. He's a neurosurgeon. They call him Dr. Q. Um, he went to Harvard. He's Harvard educated. Uh, before that, he uh, went to Berkeley, UC Berkeley. And before that, you look at his resume, which is 35 pages long. Um, his very first job in America was as a migrant farm worker. He came to this country illegally with absolutely nothing and uh, obviously climbed the ladder of success about as far as it can be climbed. Um, it's a I, it's, a, it's a nice story. It's a somewhat controversial story. I mean, my parents didn't even vote for this story because um, they were worried that it, you know, it might glorify or, uh, or make too big a deal, celebrate the fact that somebody came across the border illegally, which is a real hot topic now. And, um, and Dr. Q is very much aware of that. I'm going to play you a little soundbite where he addresses that. This is just part of the story that we'll be seeing tonight. And the last thing that I want is people to think that what I have done is justified. I think that everybody is responsible for their own acts. And the only way that I can put it to you is that I am very thankful for what this country has done for me. And the only thing that I can do is to try to pay back every day by every single thing I do. To that end, he spends most of his free time uh, trying to come up with a cure for brain cancer. Uh, He's really a remarkable fellow, obviously a genius. Uh, we're going to hear a lot more from him, and uh, I think it's a story really worth tuning in for. So if you got a chance, check us out tonight on the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric.